Too bad this makeup was so much fire. So you guys are just going to have to contend with me basically wearing my glasses like this because you have to see the makeup. Anyway, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh God, this, this, these lashes are getting caught. Eh? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Koe. Thank you so much for joining me today in this video because we are going to trash people. We are going to trash people. Yes. Trashing is bad, but we're gonna trash them anyway. So I have my handy dandy notebook here. I've written down everything that irritates me because I'm that kind of person. I just can't think off the top of my head anything that irritates me. No, I don't get irritated by people easily. But there are some things people do that are super annoying. Like you just feel like, what? What? Get the hell out of here. You know. But anyway, guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Daninga Koe. And we talk about makeup, fashion, image, positivity. Don't let this video fool you that, uh, you know, I trash people know it's all about image positivity in this channel and this video that I'm doing today is just for fun literally just for fun don't take it with take it with a grain of salt don't take it with a tablespoon of sugar add sugar to it you know and all those madoidos exaggerate or whatever but guys today I'm going to talk about my pet peeves things that annoy me things that irritate me like they irritate me if you do these things in front of me i'm going to be so irritated and i'm not talking about just ordinary things i'm talking of makeup pet peeves yeah i'm not your perfect makeup artist and i always say on this channel makeup is actually fun it's supposed to be a fun thing like just like painting it's a way of expressing yourself so you don't have to be perfect or one size doesn't fit all when it comes to makeup and anybody who does makeup or loves makeup knows that like i personally in a in another life would have been a painter or an artist or something of the sort it's just a way of expressing yourself so don't make makeup artists to be so you know don't be so harsh on them you know but there are certain things that people do that just make me want to scream, scream my head off so let, today that's what we are going to talk about and the first thing that makes me want to jump off a rooftop whenever I see it I'm an African guys I'm an African it's people who draw in their eyebrows badly and when I say draw in their eyebrows badly you guys know what I mean if you're an African hit the like button because I know that you guys see it everywhere. Like what who are mature to those people who draw their eyebrows like a rainbow. Oh my good lord. Like a rainbow, guys. Like a rainbow. Why? Why? Nobody's eye shape. Oh my god. My makeup is getting ruined. Nobody's eye shape is shaped like a rainbow. Why? Why would you do this? Why? 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 For the love of God, why? Why would you do that? <sighs> but anyway, moving on to pet peeve number two. Mm. Next trend that literally makes me want to like pop my eyes out. Like, I'm just like, I, I hope I don't get to see that again. I, I hope I don't get to see that again, blush. Like, even me have applied blush. Not gonna lie, I have applied it. But I really, really feel like it's so unfair. Like, it irritates me so much. Like, I literally have blush in my makeup bag. And I hate it. I feel like cracking it open. Like, I always feel that way. Because I'm always like, why do we have to use this trend? You know, it's the kind of trend that a 100 years from now, our ancestors, no, will be the ancestors. Our descendants will literally be like, like, oh my God, like, what was wrong with these people? Like, what was wrong with them? What was wrong with them? I've said several, like, there's no single day my African skin is going to turn pink. Under what circumstance? There's, like, there's none. Maybe, maybe if you're an albino, it can, but and I did, there's, there's no circumstance that it's going to turn pink. So that really irritates me. That makes me mad. That makes me sick. And I just think, like, why do we have to purchase this thing? Can this trend end already? Can it end already? And the more we use it, 
how ironic and the more we use it is actually what makes me so annoyed i'm like why why do you have to make it grow why do you have to make it like grow 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 expand 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 get rid of this get rid of this trend let us all unite as friend let's get rid of it let's get rid of it let's throw all our blush out let's just throw it out anyway mostly it goes for the pink blushes because you know at least if you put peach or these weird colors that's okay but like pink red really really isn't it ironic <laughs> don't you think anyway that was a song i used to love back in the day back in the day when i was young and free okay this is going to be a super short video so i don't want to bore you with what i hate because i'm a positive person you know you know the drill sometimes we feel like we're listing stress through people yeah but anyway the next thing that i really 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 get annoyed over is the freckles trend <sighs> yes freckles i hate them that much i'm not saying i hate people who are freckles no don't get me twisted don't get me twisted don't get me twisted i didn't say i hate people who are freckles but this trend has got to go you see your black african self there with a black pencil drawing things freckles drawing them in what is wrong with you what is wrong with you? Since when do Africans have freckles? Since when? This trend has got to end. Mostly because I can't, you know, hack it. And also I can't use it. <laughs> but I don't like that trend, honestly. And it irritates me. Like, get out, get out of here. Get out of here, freckles trend. We don't want you. We don't want you. We don't want you at all. It's the same. It annoys me the same way. Like, in the early 80s... Uh, like i was alive i wasn't alive back then but like in the 80s 90s people would draw like a you know something weird using an eye pencil a beauty spot or whatever on their skin apparently just to look hot like why 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 guys why is it necessary i don't think so but Do anyways really you know on. this channel is all about image positivity image positivity yeah so guys by the way if my english is he here neither there i just know that i did not grow up speaking english yes i didn't grow up speaking english i was taught english in school so it's here it's there it's words i've picked from movies series what 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 yeah so basically wrong foundation shades like seriously up to now people are buying wrong foundation shades yes i can understand sometimes when you're buying things online you'll end up getting the wrong foundation shade i have bought several wrong foundation shades but there's no way on us you'll never meet me on the street with the wrong foundation shade it's annoying it's it's irritating i don't care whether it's darker than you lighter than you it's annoying like you look like a pig no offense but you look horrid so don't use the wrong foundation shade doesn't matter whether whatever color you are just don't use the wrong foundation shade don't try to make yourself black please don't try to make yourself white please yeah you get the drift wrong foundation shades are super annoying especially i've heard on tiktok that so many people are black fishing blacks stop it stop it we don't want to secondly a lot of africans as you know i don't know what to say about people who bleach their skin and their face is the only part that is bleached and the rest of their skin is not bleached i don't know what to say about that because in my opinion this person has to apply the foundation shade that is actually their face color but the rest of their skin is not even so what shade of foundation should they use should they use the one matching their face or the one matching their neck it's a question that has always bombazzled me like it leaves me tongue-tied like are they supposed to like use foundation that matches their face or foundation that matches their neck you know because they have two different colors if you've bleached yourself and you're too toned let me know in the comment section but anyway this video is just on a light note because i felt like it like i just i just felt like doing this video you know to get things out there stop drawing rainbow eyebrows we don't need them we don't need them in our lives stop using blush we don't need it in our lives like our descendants are going to be literally like were these people mad were they mad 
and so many other issues surrounding foundation shades what 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 but those are the things that mostly annoy me i also hate it when people my eyes today are red don't ask me why don't ask me why but they're red yeah so i also hate it when people have red eyes i know sometimes it's a condition but it's it just it, it makes me think we smoke bangi or something you've smoked weed you know those things those things yeah but anyway guys thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video and in case you're interested in how i achieved this fabulous hmm? fabulous okay i'm not gonna do that <laughs> that's not me like some fabulous makeup tutorial you can always subscribe because I do makeup, fashion, beauty, haul videos and similar things. And I'll see you in my next video. Ciao. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I want to see you in my next video. If you have reached this point in the video, you literally like this video. You practically like it. You practically love it. So don't forget to subscribe and to like. Thank you for watching. Adio, Papa.